Okay, so question 3c was as follows. Given that A is equal to uh, T I M E S and B is equal to T E R M Y, C is equal to A N S W E R. So these are the three sets that are given. Okay, the first question, which is C1, is asking us to illustrate this information in the Venn diagram below. So as you can see, that is the Venn diagram, which has got set A, set B, and set C in it. So we want to demonstrate that information in this Venn diagram. So what we're going to do is, we're going to rewrite these sets here. Okay, once we have written the sets here, what we're going to do is, we're going to go to A, set A. So I'm going to start with the first element of set A, which is T. Uh, the question we're going to ask ourselves is, uh, is T found in B? Yes. Is T found in C? No. So therefore, T will be on the intersection set of A and B, which is going to be here. Okay. Then we are done with the first letter of uh, the element in set A, which is T. Now we go to the second letter, which is I. Is I found in set B? No. Is I found in set C? No. Therefore, uh, I will be the element of uh, will be inside set A only. Okay, where I have written it. Uh, I urge you viewers to pause this video and also have a pen and a pencil. Write the elements like I have written them. Uh, write the sets like the way I've written. Then every time we deal with an element, cancel it so that uh, it can be clear for you. Okay. Now let's go to uh, element M. Is M found in B? Yes. Is M found in C? No. So M is only found in set A and set B. Therefore, it's going to be on the intersection of A and B, which is here. Okay. Now we go to E. Is E found in set B? Yes. Is E found in set C? Yes. So E is going to be on the intersections part, intersection set of A, B, and C. So it's going to be here. Okay. We are done with E. Now we go to S. Is S found in set B? No. Is S found in set C? Yes. So S is going to be on the intersection set of a and c so which is here okay now as you can see we are done with all the element in set a we can go now to set b let's check uh, element we haven't used so as you can see t has been already used and e is already put then r we haven't talked about r okay so is r found in b yes but in a no in C, yes. So R is only found in set A and C, in set B and set C. R is only found in set B and set C. Therefore, it's going to be on the intersection set of B and C, which is here. Okay. M, we have already talked about M. Uh, y. Is Y found in set B? Yes. In set A? No. In set C? No. Therefore, Y will be in set B, just like the way I've put it there. Okay, now we are done with the, all the elements in set B. <coughs> we can go in uh, set C. In fact, after we are done with these two sets, A and B, whatever is remaining, whatever we haven't used in set C, is supposed to be in set C alone. So let's counter check. Let's start with A. Have we talked to you about A? No. So, is A found in set C? Yes. In set B? No. In set A? No. Therefore, A is going to be inside set C. Is N found in set C? Yes. Set B? No. Set A? No. It's not found in these two other sets. So, N will be found in set C as well. We have talked about S as well as um we haven't talked about w we have just talked about s 
already so w not yet so let's look at w is w found in set c yes in set b no in set a no therefore w will be found in set c okay inside set c okay now we are talked about uh, element e and element r already we're not going to talk about them so now since we are done with all the elements in these three different sets that means we have presented our information correct as long as we have entered them in the correct portion so this this is how the answer was supposed to look like so uh, the venn diagram that was supposed to be drawn was supposed to be like that okay now let's go to question c2 which is asking us to list elements of the set a union b union a union b complement intersection c okay so we ask to list the elements of set a union b complement intersection c okay so what we're going to do now here is we are going to divide this statement into two parts first we're going to come up with the a union B complement. We're going to come up with a set of A union B complement. So I'm going to write A union B complement. So when we say A union B complement, what they are asking us to do is to list the element of elements that do not belong in either set A or set B. Okay, to list elements that do not belong in neither set A nor set B. Okay, so <clears throat> those elements are, so when you come to the Venn diagram, which elements are not found in the circle of A and B? Okay, you find that the elements are A, N, and W. These three elements, they, don't, they are not found in the circle, in neither circle A or circle B. So uh, they are not found in set A or set B. A and W, they are not found in those two sets. Therefore, these are the uh, elements of A union B complement. So, so, those three are the elements of A union B complements, which are A, N, and W. Now, once we've done this, then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to list the members or the elements of set C. So, the element of set C this is the entire set C, okay? This set of circles there. So it's just a matter of copying the entire set down here, okay? So I'm going to copy that set, the entire set there, okay? Once I've done that, then I can now find the um, a union B complement intersection C. A union B complement intersection C. Okay, which is going to be equal to. So now let's start with the, uh, the set on top, which is A, uh, which is set A union B complement. Okay, what is found in that set is A. So our question is uh, Is A found in set C? Yes, so I'm going to write A. We go to the next element, which is N. Is N found in set C? Yes. Then we go to the next uh, element, which is W. Is W found in set C? Yes. Okay. Now, as you can see, A union B complement has just three elements. So we cannot go any further because we are looking for elements that are common in a union B complement and C. Okay? So now, as you can see, uh, in A union B complement, there are only three elements, and C has got five elements, six, six elements, sorry. It has got six elements. So that means, even if C has got many elements, since A union B complement has three elements, that means once we're done with the A union B complement, that means we cannot go any further. Therefore, the the answer is uh, the set of A union B complement intersection C is A N W. Those are the elements that are making uh, a set of A union B complement intersection C. 
let's go to the next question